Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background there. The neighbor is having their house pressure washed and there's a big team down there with lots of equipment making a lot of noise. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me okay beyond that, uh, above that noise. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I've decided I'm gonna do a how-to video uh, and not a professional how-to video, by the way. This is just how I do it. Uh, I'm going to change the oil in our 2013 BMW X5 with a diesel engine. Uh, you know, typically you're going to have that work done at the dealership, but as you guys know, that dealership is uh, three and a half hours away from us <laughs> and requires appointments. So it's just not efficient to, uh, you know, to do simple tasks like changing the oil at the dealership, not to mention the cost of labor associated with doing that. So um, I sent away to the dealership for the parts, the filter and uh, the specific oil that goes into this engine, which you know I rec uh, recommend doing. Uh, you're not gonna be able to go down to your local auto parts store and get what you need to change the oil in here. So anyhow, I've got that, uh, got those parts and uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, first thing I need to do is actually I'm going to drive to the post office just to warm up the existing oil uh, because that will drain uh, easier when it, after it's warmed up. So that's first up. Okay guys, so the oil filter actually resides under this air uh, hose here. And uh, it's a permanent canister that you simply uh, change out this filter component uh, that, that slides in there and then uh, you change the gasket uh, as well. So anyhow, we've got to remove this air hose and uh, to access that. So I like to take this cover off too and it comes off pretty easy just unsnaps here and up front that's all there is to it so this is where the uh, oil filter is all right so hopefully you guys can see that it's this here so there's actually a 32 millimeter uh hex nut lid on the top here so that's what this is for and then i'll unscrew that it'll come out and i'll show you what that looks like uh in a minute the drain plug of course is underneath like in any car and it resides about here uh, right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jack the car up and uh, get that old oil drained. The jack point for uh, this vehicle, again, this is the 2013 BMW X5 with the diesel engine. Uh, it's right there.
All right, to increase the flow, I'll unscrew the, the fill lid here and uh, that'll help uh, drain that oil quicker. Okay, while that's draining, let's go ahead and remove the old filter here. See what that looks like. Still draining. There's almost a quart of oil in this uh, filter. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Okay, so with the old filter, uh, the first thing you wanna do is remove uh, this gasket that's right here. Um, there's a little groove track that runs along the top of this, this lid. And uh, you simply take a small screwdriver and um, pry that Pry that out of there. There we go. Okay. So the, the replacement filter comes with a new gasket as well as a new uh, crush ring for the, uh, for the drain plug. So then, uh, next step is the filter. To remove that, you just give it a good tug it's kind of snapped up into the lid so you've got to just pull down on it come on now well that's not working too good i don't want to get this oil all over my clothes Huh, it should just pull right down. There we go. No? There it is. <laughs> Man, that was a process. Anyhow, that's the old filter. And then new filter will slide back up and it'll click into place. I'll show you that in a minute. But first I wanna uh, clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna put some new gloves on and then uh, give this thing a good cleaning. Okay, also give the uh, drain plug a good Cleaning as well. And then finally, I like to clean the uh, top of the filter casing here as well. Okay, so next step is to put the new gasket on. And that goes on pretty easy. Again, it goes in that, that wider groove track there. So just stick that around. <clears throat> Come on now, there we go. Okay, just make sure that's in there all the way around. And we're good. And then the filter, like I said, is going to just simply uh, go on with a snap. So it just pushes on like that. You're going to hear it click. Yep, there was the click. 
So that is in and uh, we simply screw it back down. And just give it a just a fair tightening, whatever that means. <laughs> That's good. Okay, next up is to uh, put the drain plug back in. Again, don't forget to put the new crush ring on there that came with the uh, replacement kit. So let's get that done. Okay guys, so now time to refill. This uh, car takes up just over eight quarts of oil. And uh, this is the original BMW engine oil twin power turbo SAE 5W30. So specifically made for this diesel engine. So we will load her up. I should probably get a funnel. Hold on. All right, there we go. I was actually overdue on changing this oil. You, you saw how black it was. You know, Lisa and I have uh, gone on quite a few road trips over the last four or five months. So we've probably put, I don't know, maybe five or 6,000 miles um, on the car, maybe more. And I like to change the, uh, change the oil every 5,000. Okay, so that's eight quarts, and then it takes about eight quarts, eight ounces. So I'll take this down to about right here. Perfect. All right, that'll do it. And while I have this cover off, I like to do just a quick vacuum of the engine compartment. Okay guys, so that's it. As you saw, I need to reset the uh, change oil light. 
the engine check light and I can't remember exactly how to do that so I'm gonna have to look that up it's not difficult but there's like three steps you have to go through and I just don't remember what they are but uh, so I'll get that reset and we are good to go again uh, I'm not a professional this is just how I do it but as you saw it's a pretty simple process and um, I think the total cost of the oil was about 10 bucks a quart and the filter I think was maybe 30 bucks so you know right around uh, a little over 110 120 bucks uh, if I would have had if I would have taken this into the dealership uh, this pro this whole project would have been about 350 <laughs> with what they charge for labor so anyhow that is today's video a how-to video <laughs> i appreciate you guys joining me if you enjoyed the video smash that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please do that really helps out the channel it keeps us motivated to keep making videos we're having a lot of fun with it anyway uh, again thanks for watching i'll look forward to seeing you next time